And joining us now is Nick Nanos, founder and chief data scientist at Nanos Research. Nick, thank you for joining us this morning. Great to see you, Renee. So tell us about the findings on the carbon tax. Do you think Canadians, or do, rather do Canadians think carbon tax on things like gas is an effective way to encourage people to use less fuel? No, actually, uh, a majority think that it's not an effective way to uh, to reduce uh, fuel consumption. You know, it's interesting. You know, when we we've tracked this over time, and actually, the perception of effectiveness of this tax in order to curb fuel consumption has actually declined over the last while. It's down about ten percentage points. Uh, but you know, the the kicker is that. Uh, you know, people just don't think it's effective at all in terms of combating uh, climate change. You know, a, a pretty comfortable majority uh, don't think that it's effective at all. It's about 53 percent. So, you know, what we're looking at is, you know, the, a reality where people are, are don't think that this is a good time to have a carbon tax. And it shouldn't be a surprise because people are struggling to pay for the groceries and for the rent. And uh, they're basically questioning the effectiveness in terms of both combating climate change and also as something that hypothetically, at least for those that are advocating for a carbon tax, should be trying to get more Canadians to consume less fuel.